Hi all and thanks for watching another episode of Technology Lowdown. Today we are configuring the Ubiquiti Edge Router Lite to be able to support dual stack networking. But stick around if you have a different edge router from Ubiquiti, this type of configuration should work across all of them. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do this. Why am I doing this video today? Well, um, for the last couple of days I spent uh, quite a number of hours trawling through the Ubiquiti forums, finding out how to configure IPv4 and IPv6 in a dual stack network configuration for my home internet connection and basically my provider which is Internode supports IPv6 and uh, it wasn't set up by default in the ubiquity when I ran through the initial configuration so there's a pretty easy way to do this through the wizard that's built into uh, Ubiquiti's Edge Router and that is the process I'll be showing you today along with something else I found that you had to get configured in order for IPv6 to uh, start working and providing IPs to the devices on your network. So let's get started. So if you're just starting afresh with your Ubiquity, you want to go to the address 192.168.1.1. In my case, I've already got it configured and I'll actually be resetting it today and showing you how to do this. Uh, your login will be UBNT and UBNT, but in the case of this, uh, I had a different username configured, so I'm just going to log in here. All right, so once you're logged in, you want to go to uh, the top left corner and just check what your router version is. I am on the latest one at the moment, which is version 1.10.9. If you need to download the latest, go to Ubiquity and download the one for your router. Once um, you've got that one applied, and to apply uh, a new update, you just go down to the system option down here, and you can just scroll down and click upgrade system image and that will restart your edge router. Once it restarts, log back in and continue this video. So you should have your router updated now. You'll wanna to go to wizards and the configuration that we wanna follow is WAN and to LAN. So my internet connection is PPPoE. So I'll be selecting this one um, but quite a number of providers, uh, especially in Australia now, are actually uh, using uh, DHCP. I think uh, Telstra may be one of them, and I think even Optus does it as well. Alright, so to get it set up, we'll also want to enable DHCPv, uh, DHCP v6 prefix delegation. Now, my provider, they have listed on their website the types of addresses that they give you, um, and it is a slash 56. Um, so all customers receive a static slash 56 IPv6 prefix. Now, across the board, from what I've read in the Ubiquity forums, it seems that most people are given this when uh, their provider supports IPv6. So it's probably going to do the same for yourself as well. You'll want to enable the firewall and select the ports, uh, the Ethernet ports that uh, will also have access to IPv6, which in my case I have a three port Ubiquiti router. The first one here is going to be PPPoE and the first one is one of my networks and the second one is another network. So for my network, um, I've actually got two networks so I'm going to configure this one here. And I use a slightly different subnet, but you can just leave this all as default and just configure it in the way that you would want your network to be configured. All right, and you want to uh, put your details in. In my case, I'm just going to go keep existing user. Okay, apply changes. All right, so now the edge router is going to restart. When it re boots it will have all those settings configured but I'll show you how it won't actually be fully functioning yet all right looks like it's back up now so um, I'll just show you uh, I'll go uh, clear here and we'll go ping google 
Com. All right, so you can see I've got an internet connection. It's definitely loading up, and this is after just configuring those settings, which I've just done. I'll just go to speedtest.net, and also I can ping. Uh, I can uh, receive and send dollar. All right, so you can see that's working. So we have an internet connection, and we just need to see if IPv6 has come up. Now, you'll probably find that it won't actually be working. So if we go back to dashboard here, um, you'll see I've only got my static IP address here. I've got it blurred out for the video, but you should actually have an IPv6 there. Um, but it doesn't seem to get set up correctly when you run the wizard. So to get this fixed, we'll need to go to config tree. And in config tree, we want to expand interfaces, ethernet, eth0 which is the port that has pppoe by default when you go through the wizard and we'll expand pppoe and zero and it's pretty much in here that all the action happens so the settings we need to change here is we need to go to ipv6 we need to go enable that's the main point and we want to go to address auto configure and we'll click plus next thing we need to change is back to here and we'll just put one in here which means true all right so that should be it for there and we need to go to DHCP this one here, uh, PD, prefix delegation is what the PD stands for. And we'll expand PD beneath that again. And zero. And interface. Now, just a note on this, if you've got VLAN set up on your Ubiquity, um, you would be putting in under here, you go ETH2.50 uh, for say VLAN 50 on ETH2. In my case, I'm not using any VLANs, so I've just got the two interfaces, ETH1 and ETH2, both uh, two physical separate networks. So underneath these, you just want to check the settings. So this is what the Ubiquity configures. It's going to be host address one and prefix one and you'll find that ETH2 is going to be pretty much the same except prefix ID has two. And Slack is the way that these IPv6 addresses are distributed. So I'm going to preview these changes and go apply. Now, one of the things with when we apply that, it won't actually uh, come up into being until we uh, disconnect and reconnect the PPPoE connection. So if you have the putty there, you want to open up putty. I'm just going to refresh that one. And you'll want to load up the uh, PPPoE connection. So let's go local admin. And I'll paste the password in. Okay. And we'll go interface. Whoop. Disconnect, interface, PPP, OE. It's very disconnected. And we'll just go connect. All right, so let's bring that guy up. And we should see in just a moment that we will have an IPv6 address. Oh, excuse me, I just realized because of form fill, we need to go back to ETH0, PPPoE, and 0, and put the correct password in. Preview, apply. Right, so let's just uh, disconnect that and reconnect again. Disconnect. connect dashboard and you can see we have a IPv6 address 
And if we were to refresh this again, we will find that we will get the address which has actually been assigned to us by our provider. So there it is right there. So that's come in. Now to show you that this is working, I'm just going to go IP config flush DNS. And now I'm going to go ping google.com.au. And as you can see, I've got the Google uh, IPv6 address there. And it is pinging. There we go. So there you go, we have a dual stack IPv4 and IPv6 configured on the Ubiquiti Edge Router Lite. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please like it. Or if you would like to see more, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Bye.